Hi, my name is Lena and welcome to my channel. And this is the first book I read. Uh, it's a tag. I was tagged by, by Mark Richardson from the channel Richardson Reads. And I will leave a link to his channel in the info box. And uh, there are no questions. You just need to talk about your first memory of book of of a book of reading a book and i do not remember the first book i have read i just don't i remember being five years old and pretending that i can read so basically lying to my friends and i that i can read i wanted to be able to read for myself by myself very much so i was pretending that i actually could do it and i remember the book very well it probably was my favorite book and it had quite a bit of text it was about a girl who couldn't write to her boyfriend because he was in army and he served on a, a submarine and her brilliant little sister decided that it's a great idea to ask the goldfish to take a letter to him so make the goldfish a post fish like a post dove so it was my favorite and i knew the text so well that i could actually turn the pages in all the right places and i was repeating the text word for word i would I probably couldn't uh, fool a grown-up, but I could fool uh, children. So <laughs> that's my first uh, memory of pretending that I can read. And then I have a memory of actually reading a book and a compilation of uh, fairy tales. So I don't remember the moment I learned how to read. I guess I was taught how to read at school because at, at my time, children were not taught how to read before school. And now I believe it's a requirement. Your children need to be able to read um, before school. So it wasn't that way back then. And seven years old was customary age for children to go to school. And I went at six and a half, I think, because I was born in May and my mom was a teacher and she asked to take me and they agreed. So I believe I was taught how to read at school. But I very quickly realized that you don't have to pronounce the words you're reading that you can read in your head <laughs> and my second memory is a first memory of actually reading a book um, is that <laughs> uh, we at that time uh, all children kind of have had to follow a regime so at 8 p.m you went to bed uh, whether you wanted it or not. It was a rule. So, at least in my family, um, and I believe in this all my friends. And we lived in a one room flat at the time. It was a very big room uh, and a very big kitchen <laughs> with a sofa. So, I slept in the kitchen on the sofa, right next to the fridge. And at 8, p at 8 p.m. I would go to bed and then I quietly would open the fridge and the light from the fridge was just enough to allow me to read the book. And my mom wasn't happy about this all because, first of all, she um, thought that I needed my sleep. Second of all, she believed that I was ruining my eyesight and uh, uh, the last <laughs> one the last reason is why that I was spoiling the food in the fridge 
yes. she believes that <laughs> because I kept the fridge open 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes um, and I guess the temperature in the fridge uh, would rise up quite a bit so she very quickly learned um, to recognize the sounds when I opened the fridge and she would uh, order me to quit it so that's my first memory of reading a book well thank you for watching I I think that I should tag everybody because it's a kind of a simple a simple thing to do and it's fun thing to do and if you watch this video um, you should do it and if I'm not subscribed to you uh, if you are uh, first time on my channel and found it by accident please leave your in the comment section um, the comment that you have done this video so I could uh, go to your channel and watch it thank you for watching goodbye and happy reading